Ultimately, you can think of this product as a nacho cheese flavored vodka. If this actually tastes like nacho cheese, I'm, I'm going to be fucking, I'm going to have a boner. <laughs> Seriously. I'm going to be I, impressed. I find this very hard to believe, but go ahead. Welcome back to Our Center Culture. I am Matt. Jason. And we have a special guest with us again today. We got Mr. Brandon Flown from Ethereal Brewing. How are you doing? Hey, what's you don't, up? You don't get a clap this time. Oh, but we haven't, we haven't seen it. him in two weeks. So. Yeah. Oh, it was three. Three at least. <laughs> Is it three <laughs> weeks or whatever? Uh, Brandon, who uh, leads up the brewing over at Ethereal uh, in Lexington, Kentucky, and also... I guess is the assistant brewer over at the Void <laughs> yeah. Soccer. <laughs> soccer. The brewery, Saki Brewery. It's actually Saki Breweries are called breweries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I know uh, Justin, Justin said, said that, but I've been watching an inordinate amount of Japanese Netflix shows. Oh, yeah. And there was one where somebody had a Saki Brewery and they literally called it Saki Brewery. Oh, yeah. so not to say that Justin was lying to us. <laughs> but uh yeah he was right yeah oh, that's yeah. that pretty cool so how are you doing man it's good to see you i haven't seen you in a couple yeah, weeks yeah no it's been it's been good yeah, yeah. We, had, we didn't just eat a bunch of fermented shark yeah and it doesn't still smell like pee here. Out. <laughs> no, 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 no. uh how's things going with the brewery you all working on anything new right now or uh i mean yeah just you know same old i'd say same old same old but also like you know we have now we have two other businesses they're both yeah. doing well you know we yeah. have that kind of covid lull we had to open up one of them during it and um, now, you know, we have a phenomenal chef in there and uh, the, the, uh, the public house, yeah, right mm-hmm. downtown, um, great food down yeah. there. Is it the same guy or is, so it's a different guy now? Yeah, So it's Greg. He's, he kills it. He makes such good food. And then he actually had a background in pizza before he got in all oh, this wow. stuff. And that's really? why we have pizza okay. at, uh, the corner, uh, the campus location. Okay. And it is awesome. It's so hard to get to, you know, for people like us cause we, you know, but it is yeah. worth it. And it's, I saw it. I actually had lunch with my cousin in that area the other day and I didn't even know you were in there. Yeah. And then I, I noticed that. So, but, uh, with a public house, has it been open this whole time or did you all have to shutter it for a little while for undisclosed reasons i mean we basically we never shuttered it uh we were without food for a hot minute because we we opened up with some guys making some tacos right um and yeah it wasn't the best uh partnership gotcha um and eventually we kind of split ways and then we kind of just it took us a while and then we found okay. greg you know okay convinced him really okay did you keep <laughs> running because like, I've, I've been by there a couple times and and maybe it, i feel the, like they were open the whole time i feel like i got to go what kind of hours do like, they have over there i mean it's it's uh seven days a week i don't yeah i think we do brunch now on sundays okay. but i don't i think the kitchen closes early on Sundays. okay but yeah i remember driving by a couple of times and it was closed in the afternoon but this was a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know if um, if there were if there were new plans for it. But it is it is up and running, and it's a beautiful space too. Yeah. You got is it two stories or three stories? It's two stories. It's a super historic. It's like the oldest uh, commercial building in Lexington. Yeah. Um, that's still used for business. Uh, yeah. it's pretty cool. It's like it used to be Henry Clay's actual like bar hangout that oh, he wow. go to really? after. Yeah, it's yeah. got a lot of history. <laughs> that's pretty cool. There actually is a Henry Clay public house there, there is. too. Um, but were you all kind of banking on the center point, uh, bringing in a lot of business? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it was a long I think play. a lot of people were. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that fucking hotel in the middle of downtown, it used to be the pit. Took a long time. And you remember that original plan? That thing was going to be... Huge. Like, ju- it was going to be yeah. the tallest building in Lexington. Yeah. And now it's like half as tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like not what anybody expected. And I think a lot of people were let down. It's a lot better than that pit that just bred mosquitoes. True. Yeah. Like true. For like a decade. That's true too. Yeah, well, the, green, the green space was cool, but then after that, you, you know, he had to do something. I I was on a Facebook group and they were, uh, maybe it was, it was just like a page and they were talking about ideas for the pit. And it was actually really cool. And somebody was like, turn into a fucking water park. And I'm like, that's actually pretty dope. It wouldn't bring in any money. You know yeah, what I mean? No, no parking. But how fun would that be? Just like have a bunch of like water slides and like a wave pool there. And it'd be a huge, like horrible hazard for traffic around there. <laughs> yeah. But that'd be cool to see like around downtown. You know what I mean? I don't know. You if just I'd have a clear water slide that, that goes across traffic, comes back around. That's like, cool. yeah. That's slides cool. over so traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I need, you I need get, to be in, des- in charge of design for that. Have like a that's crossing cool. guard, like go and like stop yeah. traffic so kids can slide. <laughs> And then you'd be like, come on, wave you on or whatever. <laughs> While he's holding a cocktail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah from the Ethereal Public House. Uh, I know West Six, another uh, local brewery who likes to uh, be a part of everything in Lexington. Um, they had a place down there and they left. Yeah. And I think they had the, the same idea. I don't know. But that place was. Yeah, I think they were, they were banking on that developing. Uh, it, it, COVID hit and it was just like, well, you know, is it worth timing. it? Yeah, sure. yeah. It's bad timing. So, they went to Louisville too, right? Like shortly yeah, they after that. So. Louisville, they're in Covington. They have like oh, a, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah. 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 And the farm. I don't know if you guys been out to the farm. I have. I do love I the have. farm. The farm's yeah. awesome. Disc golf it. is. I've not played there yet. It's impossible. It's so hard. Hard. 
Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, no, I take the family out there. Whenever we go out now, we're at the whim of, of the kids, and they actually love it out there. Um, they got the little pond over there. My daughter goes out there and picks dandelions and makes <laughs> necklaces. Out. She's such a fucking hippie. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's a beautiful <laughs> venue out there. I love I love going out there. Um, I'm not a disc golfer, even though you, should, you could be. Yeah, you could be. You try to get me. It's do cheap. It sometimes. It's a cheap hobby. Yeah, you just yeah. buy like five discs. And I was gonna say it's free in it, but you I have like a hundred discs, discs. But you know, <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, you give me all your discs, and then I'll, and I'll, I'll give you playing. two. How's that? Two discs. Okay, that's cool. Um, you had a successful Baba Yaga day not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, about a month ago. Yeah, end of, end of January. Yeah, and that is your kind of um, not really a flagship beer at all, but it's your your big body stout, and it uh, brings all the girls to the yard. Yeah, it's <laughs> fun. It's you know, it's a uh, it's. It's one of those events that, like, it's still nice to see people show up for a release yeah. like that. Like yeah. A big crowd. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's hard for, like I said, you know, I'm at the kids' whim, and Ethereal's usually not on the radar when it's, like, where the kids want to go. Oh, yeah, I mean. But it's, like, <laughs> I was, like, you all stay here. I'm going over there. And it was nice, you know, I, I could get out and, like, actually, like, see you guys and have fun. And some of those variants were really fucking good, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Extended age. Extended age was very good. Yeah, yeah, that one's fun. It makes me want to just age stuff so much yep. longer. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah. And you all have a cellar room down there, which uh, I think we want to record an episode in pretty soon. Yeah, I think that I'm down really with that. Fun. I mean, we cleaned it up. Looked pretty nice. It did it look did, good. It did yeah. look good. We yeah, had the yeah. VIP treatment in there. It, going sm- it smelled a lot better than this place does. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, man? We haven't eaten pissy shark meat for two weeks in here. It smells great in here. So I don't know, man. We got uh, some. Decent beverage here today, hopefully. Allegedly, um, yeah. I don't know. Brandon, do you like Doritos? I love Doritos. Do you like Doritos? What's your favorite Doritos flavor? Uh, I mean, classic Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch? Yeah. Cool Ranch but nacho cheese. I'm, I'm, I try any variant I see, honestly. Don't they have like a Taquitos variant now? Uh, I've not, not seen taquitos, that one. The, um, sweet, sweet chili lime. Yeah, sweet yeah. chili's chili, pretty good. So that's pretty, that's good. pretty good. Are they like super spicy? No. No. Sweet. Am I right? Is it, is it taquitos those those tight rolled ones that are kind yeah. of spicy? Is that what they're taquitos. Called yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Well, they have the the fire Talky. one, you know, yeah. like the the super hot one that they did mm-hmm. with like Cheetos. Uh, really? See, I've never had that. I love me some fiery Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, that shit's really good. So I've never had the fiery. Oh, uh, they're hot because the surface area is so much greater. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, really? You get lit up. Okay. Why didn't you get those, Jason? I just couldn't. I Jesus couldn't. I couldn't Christ, handle. I was, I was too busy with shark meat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so long ago. I, don't I know. know I know. Uh, I like Doritos too, and apparently Doritos likes to drink. And you know what's crazy about that? <laughs> so do we. So I mean, it's very fortunate. Match made in heaven. <laughs> Jason actually procured this. So this is Doritos flavored vodka. That's right. Uh, the box says is uh, distilled with a brand called Empirical, which I've not heard of, but it says vacuum distilled Doritos nacho cheese. 42% alcohol. That would be true. That is actually 2% higher than standard vodka. So uh, hmm. maybe this will knock us on our ass. <laughs> it might. It might. Uh, well, what kind of information do you have for us here today, Jason? So empirical, let's start there. They were founded in 2017 by a chef, Lars Williams, Ooh. of a restaurant, Noma. I had never heard of this restaurant. Oh, have you, you heard haven't of heard it? of Noma? I had not. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it got number one in the world uh, in 2010, <laughs> 11, 12, no and 14. <laughs> Hey, it's I like, like the most famous like, restaurant in the world. I like Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> He's what like, like, what's crunch, a Michelin star? Wraps, I got four Supreme. Michelins on my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a truck. So Noma was in, is in Copenhagen. Um, so this was a Danish company. And then they've actually moved. I, I didn't get the timeline correct, though. So 2017, they started. Um, 2020, somewhere in there, they probably moved to New York or moving towards New York. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this one here, though, this is a special edition they did recently. And the goal that he had was to recreate the experience of opening a bag of Doritos. Well, we can do both. We can we could, open a bag we could. and we can open so the bottle. So I thought we could open the bag when we open the bottle and see which one. Okay, you, know, you want to do the better. bottle and I'll do the bag? Yeah, we can. We can I, I, I cut your seal there. I appreciate that. I uh, gave you the bris. So I ordered this one. I was telling Brandon earlier. I think I ordered this one in October of last year. Yeah. It actually came in in March. Was this like a lottery deal, or was it like a, oh, just like a be fast online. quick fingers kind yeah. of release? Pretty cool. Show that thing. off. That's cool. They got yeah. some like little straw like so not, packaging. Not all of them were actually sent this way, like in the box. Really. Some of them were just sent with a bottle and like bubble wrapped. Okay. Hmm. It's probably because I emailed them like once a week and just pissed <laughs> the shit out of them. <laughs> It even comes with a little booklet. Look at there. That's right. cute. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I'll give that to Brandon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that looks, yeah, very much like stuff I deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's like, this is right up my alley. Yeah. So the first thing you'll notice, it is not colored like a Dorito. No, it it's is clear. It is it's clear, clear, Matt. Except How do they do that? There. How do they do that? It has to do with the Doritos vacuum sealed I think it's magic. Process. I think it's actually magic. magic. Yeah. So when they talked about the process, let me read a little bit about it. So they started with a base of distilled beer, um, Pilsner malt, to be precise. Mm-hmm. Then Doritos were introduced and allowed to infuse in the liquid okay. under exacting time and temperature, then in vacuum distillation, which operates at a lower temperature than traditional distillation. Brandon, do you know what vacuum distillation is? Yeah. Could right. you tell us, please? Uh-oh. I mean, the whole technical thing? Well, nah, could I mean, you condense it in like 30 seconds? <laughs> What kind, what kind of, I've only, I've what only kind of vacuum pot. do you use? Like a Hoover? Dis- or? This is going to be like a 30-minute show, so just keep that in yeah. mind. <laughs> I mean, I figure it's, it's under pressure and okay. you know, or lack thereof, rather. And mm. so, yeah, the boiling point is for ethanol to uh, evaporate is, is lower. So That makes sense because you put it under pressure. Under mm. pressure. You should play that song. We, we, we can't know it. They would take it off. Yeah. I will. Okay. Ultimately, you can think of this product as a nacho cheese-flavored vodka. And then when they ran this by the folks at PepsiCo, Doritos' <laughs> parent company, they were suitably impressed with the mashup and did the collaboration with them. That's cool. It was pretty cool. And this cost, if this if this actually tastes like nacho cheese, I'm, I'm going to be fucking. I'm going to have a boner. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to be I, impressed. I find this very hard to believe, but go ahead. Yeah, no, that's all right. I mean, it was sixty five bucks, okay. so not crazy. I mean, you know, a little that's pricey, still high but for vodka. Yeah. I think I think it was seventy four, seventy five shipped. I mean, okay. again, you know, limited. It's not crazy. Yeah. And then I did read about, they did try the Cool Ranch version, and he said he did not like that at all. It was a unit of like butter, buttermilk or something. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to break the seal. I so won't, do you I want won't to, open it just yet. You want to break my seal while you break your I seal? I think, yeah, go ahead. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pass this around and smell it. We'll do a little ASMR action here. Yeah. You get yours done, and I'm ready. I'm going to pop mine. All right, let me see what I got here. What do we do? Ooh, that was a good one. Mine sound better than yours. All right, that does not smell like bag of Doritos. <laughs> it doesn't smell like, let me try that. <laughs> let me smell those. Let me pass that around here. Uh, it smells like vodka to me. Yeah. It smells like nothing. Yeah, kind of nothing. Okay. So, but do you go ahead? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Do you want to try this by itself first? And then you said we have a cocktail. We do have a cocktail. As it well. is a double triangle margarita. Which is the very first margarita I've ever seen that calls for vodka and tequila, but who knows? You want to try? Let's try it first. I'm just huh? going to pour a little bit into yeah. this glass first. I'm going to do the okay, same thing. Okay, I mean, so the nose, I do get corn on. Like, I mean, when you open that Doritos bag, it's, it's corn. I mean, yeah. you're getting that first straight off. We got these new microphone booms that attach to the table and I thought I was being so goddamn clever with these and these motherfuckers are in the way like nothing. I mean I'm having trouble reaching over this. Yeah. Thing. It tastes like Doritos. Does it really? Mixed with vodka. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, it does. so okay. Did you, you get the after Did you get the aroma in the glass? Like I just I get like a lot of corn. I get corn. I get a ton of corn. I didn't get it from the bottle. I get a ton in the glass yeah. where it's yeah. like I get little cheese, but like you I, know you'd what, have to tell me. You know cheese. what really helps with the aroma? These absolutely perfectly mm. created the, ethereal, ethereal glasses. glasses. Brandon, have They're you ever sexy. seen anything? <laughs> have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah. Uh, we need to come back with another one of these. I love that the, the mm-hmm. thin lipped makes mm-hmm. things taste just. Holy shit! I mean, that's that's pretty much Dorito. You, yeah, you get it in the after date. Like you know, it's it's pretty good. It is pretty good. So <laughs> this okay. So this tastes like. This actually tastes like Doritos. If you like Doritos, I mean, this here's, is pretty good. Here's my problem, though. I don't want to drink Doritos. I think I you just don't, want to. You don't know that you want to drink. I them. don't know that. Yeah. I think I would rather just eat Doritos. Mm. But this tastes like eating Doritos. Yeah. Like this is. Really, I guess if I just want to get really. What fucked if you're up, just really lazy and want to get drunk too? If I had a very short amount of time and I wanted mm. to eat Doritos and get drunk, this would be like <laughs> the actual perfect problem solver. Yeah. They just. It's like pre gaming. I'm yeah. hungry, but yeah. I don't want, I'm too lazy to eat. <laughs> But I also want to get a good buzz before yeah. I go out. So, so you even get no one ever. Yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. that kind of like corn umami on the back of your tongue aftertaste like from it too. Like, like it's got the aftertaste like it been eating Doritos like right this now. Is, yeah. 
absolutely amazing. I am yeah. completely like dumbfounded about how much that tastes like Doritos and it's fucking vodka. And you still get, well, it's not a lot of burn, but you can tell you're drinking alcohol. Yeah. But yeah. if you didn't know you were drinking vodka, you'd be like, hey, I've been eating Doritos all day. <laughs> if you were actually pass out drunk and then you woke up, you'd be like, oh, when did I have a bag of Doritos? <laughs> You know I, don't remember, I, mean? I don't even remember eating Doritos. I don't Doritos remember. Last yeah, night. I don't remember eating Doritos last night. <laughs> Maybe that's what Lars Williams of Noma. Thought. That's what. Yeah, I think that's exactly. <laughs> <what>. <laughs> cool Ranch, not so much. Nacho cheese. Hell yeah. Why don't you mix us up a drink, Matt? All right. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give me the recipe. I can do it. So our constituents at home that don't pay us will actually understand what we're doing. Do we, so we want three CLs. So we're going to do... Oh, Jesus. Is this metric? No. We'll just do we're in America, about, about right? three ounces of this stuff? Let's okay. Do three so uh, is that for three drinks, right? I'm going to make three. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll triple it. Okay. That's what you do, Matt, if you need three. Triple I, the recipe. I've heard that. If you need four people, you times it by four. One. Two. Two and a quarter. Yeah. That's the, bar, that's the bartender pour right there. <laughs> Three. There we go. Okay. Now we need three ounces of tequila. Damn. <laughs> it's a boozy bitch. And, and we got, and we got, got nothing our, to do after this break. <laughs> and we got our liquor barn, single you. barrel, Ma- maestro dobel. Yeah, we got our yeah. beautiful dobel tequila, which we did an episode on. Perfect to sip on or to mix with Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it three one, of these? It is three of those. It's nine CLs. Is what that is. I don't know what a CL. What is a CL? A uh, centiliter. Cubic liter. I don't know. Centiliter. Sure. We didn't learn that in school. Right. All right. Then we need uh, nine ounces of fresh lime juice. Holy shit! <laughs> How about we just throw a lime in there? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, one, one single lime. I swear. Oh no, three fourths ounce. So what is that times? That's. Oh no, I'm not good at math. Huh. So that's like two and a half ounces. I don't know. Is that right? Yeah, so 75%. 75 plus 75 is 150, right. plus 75 is 225. Okay, you are right. Let's look at that form. <laughs> He's got steady hands, though. He's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> give me that zone. <laughs> uh, I can set that up. Yeah, don't even give me doors right now, motherfucker. I'll bullseye every time. The four is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just need one. Just give me one. Two drinks, maybe. Three, and I'm perfect. Three and a half, we're good. We're good. We're getting there. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. So we got those three things. Okay. So we got our lime juice, and then what's we next? We got three ounces. Yeah, we got the, the lime juice. Next is the same amount of agave syrup. Just pour what you okay. got, though. It'd be fine. I'm going to eat your while I'm making it. Yeah, of course. I think you should. <laughs> We have the tahini rim, so we're good. That's all. That's all you really need. Well, God damn it! I didn't have enough agave. Either. I think it's fine. Just throw it in there. I got simple syrup. It'd be all right. It's not gonna be all right, Jason. Well, damn it! Go up there and get some more. <laughs> Full disclosure here. Apparently, I accidentally bought the simple syrup light. God, why'd you screw everything up? That's man? fine. It, it tastes. It's just sweet. Part. You know. Just add more Doritos. It'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> That's the solution to everything. Just add more Doritos. We're also drinking a Goldfinger Lager, which is pretty solid. Yeah, very solid. You, you, I think you've done too much. Ho, ho, ho. Did you? Two and a quarter. You said the same amount, right? Yeah, but you already had agave in there. No, the, I put it on top of the agave. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, have you guys had Dovetail from Chicago? I have. They make good. some good stuff, too. Yeah, yeah they're, they're one of my favorites. Yeah. Is that it for this? Uh, yeah, tahini rim. We got the lime for garnish. That's it. That was really fun. And then we could do, we could put a Dorito for garnish too, if you'd like, <laughs> or just eat a Dorito. The ice is melted. I want mine sh- uh, stirred, not shaken. But... Well, I didn't realize how full it was going to be like this. Sounds like a you problem. It's a shitty bar and bartender <laughs> right there. I thought you worked all the in agave, the, all the agave is sticking. Yeah, I thought you got to you got to shake the shit out of it. It's too full to shake. I think you can shake that. Yeah, man, you got big arms. Put that in there. Well, no, I mean it's like overflowing. Seal? Oh, you can't seal it. You gotta just see what happens. Take it outside. I think we're good. 
I don't see anything coming out. <laughs> it just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that form. Look at that form. Yep. That's not many shakes right there at all. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Strain it out, even though all the ice is melted. Line them up, baby. I'm giving him the bottom. That's the sweetest part. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, it's a pretty solid looking cocktail. Yeah. All well, right. So, oh, here. Get your Dorito garnish. Oh, I need my, I need my Dorito. <laughs> I think got some shark piss on there right there when you <laughs> threw it down. You're not gonna look, you gotta fucking Oh, give me another one. Because we gotta <laughs> we gotta get our sponsorship from PepsiCo, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that they went ahead and just made it and they were like, hey PepsiCo, so we did this. <laughs> you cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> like, sure. I'm trying not to drink the mic again. Mm. Alright. I mean it's good to me. It tastes well, like a yeah margarita. Tastes like a margarita. Yeah, honestly, I liked it better by itself. Yeah, there's. I mean, I think the characters kind of washed out with everything yeah. else. Yeah. Eat well. We're also eating Doritos while we're drinking this, so I can't tell if it's from the Doritos or the vo- the Dorito flavored vodka, but or the tahini. Yeah, tahini. <laughs> or the tahini. Yeah, tahini kind of like takes it over too. One more sip. Mm. That's pretty good, but again. I don't get any Dorito flavor. I don't think from that. No, it's basically sweet and sour mix and mm. and vodka. It's and or tequila and vodka. <laughs> it's, it's you kind of you kind of meld it home, empirical with with the recipe for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sixty five bucks. You think you'd buy it in a store if you saw Doritos flavored vodka? I think this is cool. I think it's a novelty. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's fun to have something that tastes like Doritos. Um, this is the kind of thing that you keep on your shelf and not drink it yep. until somebody comes over yep. and they're like, oh, fucking love Doritos. And I'll be mm. like, I got you, fam. And then you give them a shot of this and they're like, oh my God, it tastes like Doritos. Yeah. And I'm good and I don't want any more. But that was awesome. You know, uh, I don't think I would just keep buying this and putting it in drinks, but I would buy it, put it back and show it off to friends. Yeah. I think so. It's worth trying once. I mean, you know, I'm not going to buy a case if I could. Yeah. I, I think it's, they did a good thing just making a few, you know, pretty limited. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. would like to try the Cool Ranch. I wonder how bad that really yeah. was. You know? I, I think it's a really neat concept, like technically, like the way they did it. I think it's, uh, I mean, I'd like to see what else they can do. That, that, that restaurant I've never heard of, no one. I've never <laughs> heard of that one. They, they must be new. Yeah. They must be new. Probably like McDonald's or something. No, it's no McDonald's. No McDonald's. <laughs> no ma. <laughs>